Why is it so dark in here? Scrid. I can't see anything. Yeah. I can't see anything. Why is it all black in this world? Uh, it's the most optimized world in VR chat. My dude. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, it's too dark. Away I go. Yo, Scrin, my guy, what what do you think of my ripped, my, uh, ripped picture, my guy? What what do you think? Yeah, that's me with my shirt off. <laughs> beef. What do you think, man? Good. <laughs> I'll probably change it to where the shirt's just red soon. Hmm. I also need to fix this. I might just turn this back to normal and keep the uh, Panosphere on Pip Boy. Yes. How's the stream looking? Stream's looking nice. It's looking nice. You saw what image I have on my uh, avatar, right? So you know what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, he's streaming. I just yeah. hope to God none of my friends join. That's my issue. Uh, invite only. Uh, and there, I have there, to there, make these there, rules there, for there. reasons. Okay, good. This is the thing. Mm hmm I might leave, but if I choose to be invited again, can you invite me back? Yeah. So the limit is only three people can be in this room, other than me. The reason is because uh, I run on a uh, 660 graphics card with a uh, a 2.9 gigahertz uh, processor, an i5 2000 brand. Uh, so yeah, I have to keep it at the minimum of like three people in the world. You should go out. Oh, that's. I don't know. Well, here, I'll let some uh, other people join, because uh, I'm, I'm going to have to leave soon anyway. People are wanting me to do crap. Like, I've been summoned once already. I did a wedding. I was a priest at a wedding. It went all right. Yeah. Well, well, shit, he disappeared. Well, how is everyone doing today? This is the stream. Gotta put that there. This is the stream, everyone. How are y'all doing? Doing good? Doing fine? Doing pretty alright? You know, this is the presentation room. I uh, I lowered my uh, my thing to a uh, 2,000 byte rate. So you know. <sighs> so we should be better. Let's try that. Alright, let's try to see it on the playback. Yeah, it looks good. It looks fantastic. <laughs> That's good. Good, 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 
setting up these cameras. There we go. So, how's everyone doing this fine day? I'm doing very nicely, if I do say so myself, and I do. Just, you know. Who's better than me? Nobody. I should have some more sound loud. Let's see. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, everyone. It's good to see you again. This is Grenade Studios here with uh, the CEO. You know, just gonna be drawing some stuff, Rob Ross style. Uh, so, uh, so first we have ourselves uh, the camera. Uh, you know. So we're gonna be drawing the camera of the VR chat thing. All right. Then we have this. Then we have this. We have the button, 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 and voila! We have ourselves the camera. Voila! Here is the camera. Yes, I'm now playing the Switch. <laughs> Alright, so. <sighs> it's good, still working. Just gonna draw some stuff. Ah, shit, hold on. There we go. Ah. <laughs> what is this? Just gonna put it out there. Yes. Like one of those cinematic ones. Alright. Tracking. <laughs> gonna sit right this for a bit. Because my other sensor. <laughs> Alright.
Here we have a uh, a leaf. As you can see, leaf of destiny. <sighs> We're just gonna turn this off for now. All right. <clears throat> We have a, a wheat. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't normally. Let's set the purple one down and grab a green one, since we're doing plants now. Which is, uh, Bob Ross here. There we go. No. There we go. Still doesn't feel like it. Alright. Alright. Uh... Hold on, gotta brush off. Is it me or is it just my shaking? It could. Ah, I'm trying to get up. Alright. No, I am blind in my left eye, partially. Pretend that's my eye, right? Hold on. Okay. So, you see, that's my eye, right? And, uh, here is my nose might as well finish it Anyways, so, so, uh, this is the face, right? Now, here's how it looks like on, uh, for me. Alright. So everyone can see out of the eyes. Well, not everyone. Uh, you know, you can obviously because the, the the default thing is coming from the left eye, not the right eye. Um. So, how to explain it? Well, this is the, the most center bit. So, the green is that. So, when we get from right here. I see darkness, right? I see everlasting darkness that is like this. Like a checkerboard like thing, right? 
It starts like that, right? Now, when I say that, I mean that the more center it goes, the more darker it is. So, that there... So that is basically how my vision is, but you know, the open spaces on my right eye, this is the blurry. Drawing it behind it. Alright, so the orange is my blurriness, right? Right? And now for this side, it's like that. That's basically how my eye is, right? My left eye. From the center point outwards, I can see out of this area. So, um, basically, so basically, this entire area, the corner of my eye, I can see out of, right? But, uh, now the reason that it's dark and goes really blurry is actually because of a thing, right? Now this thing, mind you, Now, now this thing, mind you, right? Uh, basically, what happens to the eye? What happens to the eye is it's basically like, well, the corner of my eye I can see out of, but it's blurry. And the more towards the center of the eye I go, the more it's going to basically uh. The more it's going to basically um, get dark, and as we make it to like uh, the center area, right? The more we get to the center area of my eye, the more darkness and more blurry becomes to the point where like the half of the iris basically uh, it basically goes into complete shadows, right? Now, as for my right eye, I can see perfectly out of it. Right? I can see perfect out of it. Um, but the problem I have is this. Now, here's the VR, right? So I'm just going to do a quick draw. So here's a circle, and here's a circle. Right? Those are the lenses. And the, like, the, the center is like right there and right there. Now... These are overly ex, ex, ex thing. A very rough sketch. Very, very rough. Right. But, now that you have the visual representation of it. Uh, I'll go back into normal view. Alright, so 
This is my right eye. This is my left eye. Alright, so now, here we have this thing. Alright? So, because the corner of my eye can basically, uh, we all see this sort of thing, right? That sort of thing happens, uh, that. <clears throat> okay, so basically, I know I'm over-exaggerating and stuff, so but let me rephrase it. Basically, these, these things here, these things here are the lenses to the VR headset that's around my face right now. And the darkened part of, uh, my eye is towards the center of my eye, which in the VR is where the lenses are. Now I've spoken to other people who have this similar issue with their eye. Uh, our boy, the creator of the great Pug, he's he has the opposite effect of me. He's blind in his right eye while I'm blind on my left eye. Right? So, um, basically, this is how it works for me with the headset. And what we've talked about is that my eye has not been receiving enough light going into the eye for it to autofocus, making it not blurry, and making me be able to see out of it, right? And because of that, I can't see 3D that well in real life. Sometimes the vision acts up and I see double of something, which is, you know... However, because the headset lenses are at the center of the eye, like right about here-ish, like right about here-ish, I would say, you know, but it's more like this sort of big thing. But because of that, light is actually hitting the part that, that is needed of it. So as I'm wearing my headset, the light is projecting into my eye that needs it to repair itself so it can autofocus and I can see 3D in real life. Three dimensional boxes. You know, three dimension. So, whatever I draw, whatever I make, whatever I do is coming from my right eye. The stream is coming from my left eye. Alright? So now that you know that bit, I will tell you another thing. Um, right eye, left eye. Left eye is where the camera comes out of when I don't have the VR check camera. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what happens with like uh, everything that happens within it. So medically. V VR helps people who have vision problems because it directs light into the retinas to fix their blindness, the type I have, right? So me being in VR helps me with my vision so that I can see like a normal person. Also, if you notice that all my camera angles are slightly tilted and stuff, like how I am right now, and I'm not like this, but I'm usually like this or like this, it's because I'm looking at you with my eye. So if I ever look like I'm tilted my head at you, I'm actually, like, this is what I look like, this is what other people look like. I do this because it's more centered. That's why I tilt my head. And because I'm focusing my right eye, because that's the eye I see out of, because I'm focusing it, what happens literally, uh, I'm, because you know, you see me draw, you see me drawing stuff and all that kind of stuff, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. But here's the thing I'm drawing out of my right eye. I don't know what I made. Ooh.
unsure what I made, really. <sighs> Get this thing out of my hand. Three-dimensional cube shall be destroyed. All your base belong to us. I'm gonna be streaming some um, Command and Conquer soon, uh, and Saints Row, of course, and other stuff like that. And. Oh yeah, sorry, I, mean, I was crouching when I was making that stuff. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know what I made here. Hmm. You know, I rarely see people using this type of camera. I do not know if people do not know about it, but you know. It's a strange thing, really. Uh, eh, eh, eh. So yeah, now I have, uh, now you can see me from up here. I don't know why people don't use this thing. I, I hardly ever see people ever use it. Hold on, I need to recenter it because it's not in the center of the map. Now it's at the center. Actually, I should point this out too. So, everyone's doing all fine. All hunky dory. Hunky dory, hunky doki. Doki doki. Hunky dory, hunky dokey. Hmm. Let's try making something. Hmm. Ah, here comes my double vision I get. How's my stream going? Hold on, I need to do a circle around the map to test out my FPS. Oh, hi, Kerr. Uh, yeah.
Mind you, I'm actually sitting down right now. I have got no, no invite requests. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's give this one a shot, shall we? We shall. Uh, that's too far out. Ooh. Mm. Uh. I wish I had the the twitch, you know. idea I'm gonna get rid of this dot. There we go. Oh, it's actually turning out quite nicely. Alright. So, I'm actually going to. on uh, my face <sighs> right. need to center this I'm gonna put it right at my viewpoint
Hold on. I'm not close enough. Bomb. Oh, black belly, bam a lamb a lamb, oh, black belly, bam a lamb a lamb. Okay. There we go, there's that. Okay, now am I centered? <sighs> yeah, it is. Good. Good. Good, good. Oh, black belly, bam a lamb a lamb. Oh, black belly, bam a lamb a lamb. Hmm. I'm gonna restart the thing. True that. Hell yes. Oh, black belly, bam, a lamb, a lamb. Might as well get a head start. Oh, black belly, bam, a lamb. -a. Oh, hi, true. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you know, I'm just streaming right now. Oh, nice, awesome. I'm just you, you see my camera in the center, right? Yeah, it's uh like following you. Yeah, I'm doing an FPS test at the very current moment in time. Just to see if uh you know if you are affecting the FPS performance cuz I have a very bad thing. So I'm just running around a second just letting it get caught up. And you know. All right, now let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Mm, only like two frames less. As long as you don't keep changing avatar in this world, uh, it'll be fine. Purple. My color. Yeah, I was just in an avatar world where it was, uh, I think the avatar world is called Dirty Dancing. Mm. Yeah, they had, they, it looks like it was some type of, uh, some type of event, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was VR users only. I see. The camera yeah, only so pans towards me. Oh, okay. If you look at my image, you can see the link, because I posted the link on my image. I'm holding it up. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. When you saw me in social, what did you say? Like, when you saw me in social. I was like, I was like, oh, you're on. And then I was like, wait, let me, wait, what, what is that? I was like, oh, you're on Twitch, okay. Yes. I'm on the Twitch. Yeah, let me. Let me get. Let me go on Twitch on my phone. Find you and then follow you. Yes. <laughs> the camera's so far away. Yeah, like right about here is when, like, uh. Like it would be clearer. Though my PS4, which is the thing I'm using to to see my stream, which I should have done yesterday, um, it, mm -hmm. that makes looks like the quality is actually a lot better than what I'm seeing on the camera view. You know, because I detached oh, okay. it, so you know, and it follows me. Which you know what I've never noticed in 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 VR chat streams or videos. What? Is that no one uses this sort of thing? They don't like people do sometimes detach their their thing, right, to get farther away. But they don't ever have it like locked on them at all, like ever. And no one that I've seen has ever used the combination that I am doing, where 
it's I have it uh, pinned towards that spot, and I uh, I have it looking at me. I've never seen anyone in VR chat do that. I guess I can say I'm the first one to do it. Sneaking around. Sure enough, did find you too. Just sneaking around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow. Oh, I, I hate. I hate ads. I hate ads sometimes. You gotta wait. Yes. What type of ad are you getting, though? And boom, and boom, follow. <laughs> <laughs> the notification hasn't gone off. Well, it might in a sec. If it's working correctly, it should. There we go. Thank you, True. Yep, no problem. <laughs> just another, just another to add to add to the list. Cause I mean, I really don't look at Twitch too too much, but there are people that I know from uh from YouTube that also that also stream on Twitch. Yeah, I think this is a very unique camera angle, and I think it's actually unique because it. Uh, I've either just invented this or it's a rare uh, thing in VR chat streams to have uh, to have this sort of thing follow you and in in the center of the room I guess it's only yeah. like you would be only used for like a presentation room and and you know But even so, it's very nice to have, because you know, I'm sitting in my chair right now. I can get up and draw. Um, I lowered my bite rate to see uh, how it is, and literally, uh, once uh, I get tired or 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 battery die or something, I'm ending the stream. So I'm gonna be here for quite a while. You know what I mean? But not in this room particularly. Just that most of it will be in here, like. About fifty or seventy-five percent will be in here, and I and I make this one rule that there there can only be four people in this world, and that includes me, for the testing until I figure out the best one, like the best settings and stuff. Yeah. yeah so basically, you and three other people. Yes. I have nothing open but OBS, Steam. And VR chat. I don't have Discord open. I wish I had OVR drop. Shut down Discord. I wish I had the OVR drop thing so I could see my chat. So you know I could see it. Oh yeah, on your hand, yeah. So I, I I've heard from Miss Universe that uh, there's more that you can do with with the overlay that people do. Uh, like you can have it go this way to see your chat, this way, this way, that way, of course, and all that kind of stuff. Um, even repositioning it so it's like bigger or up here, you know. So yeah, once I do, I'm gonna put it on my arm. <laughs> yeah, that that'll be that'll be awesome. So like, imagine my my pit boy, right? Imagine like, I mean. It won't have the rays, but imagine like there would be rays coming out, and then like there's like a thing for like the the chat. The overlay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now that would be cool. Oh yeah! Congratulations, by the way, on your uh, on VR. Yes. Okay, good. I can be on this pin. Hey, there's you now. Yeah. 
It's nice that we have three pins, so I can uh, change camera angles. Oh yeah. Yes. Actually, I might set up the second one. What's up? Yeah, I just, I just see, I just seen when you, uh, when you pointed the, the lens at, at me. Yes. It's so difficult. Okay, there's that. Oh, when you're trying to, oh, when you're trying to hit the pins. Yeah. On the, uh, on the thing. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want it to be detached. I want it to be attached. Ah, shit. Yeah, there we go. That's the pin that attaches to me. So then, like, you know, I'm like this. I'm like, hey, you're on the the side of the camera. Say hi, dude. <laughs> Then we have uh, my other pin over there, which is centered and focused. And then we have the third pin, which I haven't done anything yet, so I might just make that face cam pin. Makes sense too. God, it's hard to control the 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 thing. There we go. This is a face. Well, shit. I keep forgetting not to do that button. There we go. I don't know, I'll just have it on standby until I want to use it. No, I see that's bugged already. Oh, well, at least the center one's still working. Yeah, yeah I'm not used to streams. The, yeah. The fun times happen. Yes. I chose presentation room out of like the other ones. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go to uh, the other two worlds I have in mind. Uh, I was explaining earlier on my stream about my 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 vision problem. I'll just sum it up for you. Basically, I have to since I have the tools. Um. <clears throat> That's an eye. Imagine it's my eye. My left one. Uh-huh. Um, here is the nose. So over here it it's uh it's blurry, right? But I can see out of it. But the more center it goes, it's like here's this, here's that. Like that, basically. Oh, okay. Because I can see that it's less o it's less over here, but then as you get getting over on that side, it's um it's more. Yeah. However, the vibe, like the headset, um, explaining it with uh, the black one. Best color to describe things with other color. The headset, the lenses, they're like that, you know what I mean? Damn. They're like right there when it comes to the thing, so light is hitting the darkness. Now, I actually spoke with uh, our boy and some other people who have uh, one, who are basically cyclopses like me. Yeah, our boy, the creator of the great pug, um, is a cyclops <laughs> like me. But uh, apparently that the type of issue I have is that there's not that w there wasn't enough light going into my retina on that end, and that's why I see darkness oh. and blurriness. But because the vibe is right here, um, and most of the light is like coming in like in this area to like this area, you know, because like I'm always tilting looking with my right eye, so like it's even more toward the center. This entire area right here is producing light into my blindness, which is actually healing my eye, which is actually making me see double, because when I see double, my left eye is acting up so I can see out of it, 
but like I see two of you. Like I can see one right. Like this is your eye on my right eye, and then then this uh -huh. is the shadow eye. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So as I'm doing VR, the more I'm in VR, the more the lights, like this is like what it's slowly happening. It's slowly. Oh, chipping, uh, chipping away. Yeah, over time, it's slowly doing it. Eventually, I'll have it healed to the point where, like, I can see out of the eye, like fully and not partially. But I am legally blind. Like, I uh, the eye doctors have confirmed me to be legally blind in my left. But yeah, me having VR is actually helping me with my vision, which is not a known intention for me to have like when I was get, when I wanted VR you know yeah some of the original purposes of making VR in terms of health was for me to get like exercise because I don't want to go outside or run on the treadmill I want to do something um, productive which is like this stuff and other stuff as well um, and when it comes to uh, things such as uh, the other health is that I have motion sickness, right? Um, the type of motion sickness I have is a type that would be classified as a uh, hardly ever, rarely ever been on a vehicle. Uh, I only went on vehicle rides that took about 5 to 15 minutes. Only to go into like the the next town to uh um eat for a birthday party like my own birthday party um for appointments and stuff and that was it. Sometimes there was groceries, but we stopped doing that a couple years ago. Like uh, at, when I was sixteen, we stopped because I didn't really want to go shopping anymore. Um so. And also to school, but that only took like one to two minutes to get to school to drive there, so it didn't really affect me. But like that was my only th time in a car, and this is like a car in the terms of like you're sitting or standing, depending, and things are moving around you when you're not moving. And that type of motion sickness is what I have. So when I'm in VR, the original one of the original intentions was for me to get over my motion sickness. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. And the the two maps that work the best is the Great Pug and Japan Shrine. Number one is Japan Shrine. That map, uh, it's, it, it triggers it almost like within the first five minutes of me being in the world. Of me hardly doing anything. Uh, it's basically because mm. of like how good everything is, like the shading, the lighting and all that being outdoorsy and like when I'm in the car I'm outside not indoors like the pug so like Japan Shrine's like on my last place to go visit um, on this test stream or else I get too nauseating the sec you know second place is uh, the great pug because it's indoors but it, you know it's made by another Cyclops so you know Yeah. Wonder if anyone's typed hey, in the least, chat. Hey, at least, uh, at least you're taking care. At least you're taking care of the problem. Yeah. There's a lot more other reasons, like obviously head head patting people, giving hugs, nose boops, and a lot of other stuff too, of why I want V, like I wanted VR. <laughs> but yeah, those were just the safe, like I mean the health reasons why I got VR. You know, so yeah. Well, that's well, that's good. That's definitely good. Yeah. But oh, currently yeah, definitely, though. I definitely messed that. <laughs> currently though, uh, the only uh games in VR that I can actually um play without it being shit is uh vintage VR and VR Chat. 
Oh, so you wouldn't be able to do anything like um like I, Beat Saber and 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 all and all and something like. I that. mean, I want to go test it because it seems very simple. Moving controllers, box hits towards controller, boom. I don't think it's that much different from like like uh, demands as VR Chat is, because we have more stuff going on in VR Chat than Beat Saber. Beat Saber has music boxes that are coming towards you, and lightsabers that cut up the boxes. Doesn't seem like a very in-